Robocop, the creation of Robocop that's on Prime Video. How's that? Oh, amazing. So it good? So good. I wanted to buy it a long time ago because that's the only, only way you could see it. And finally, it was available on Prime Video. And um, after like, I don't know, a month or so, I finally pulled the plug and very addictive, like just one episode after another, All if, right, if I could. Check that out. Four hours of footage. And they brought back like basically everyone living from the cast. Which it's nuts. I'm trying to think of who from the cast is deceased. Uh, the dude who played Bob uh, Morton. Yeah, the old. Well, yeah, because I mean, that guy was old back then. No, no, no. I'm sorry. No, um, it's the guy who made Robocop. It was the younger guy. The, at the younger time. guy. Oh, yeah. He did pass away just a couple years ago, didn't he? Yes. Yeah, I forgot um, about that. I forgot his damn name, but he's a great actor. He's actually George Clooney's cousin. His dad was a big actor, too. Um, but uh, McGill. McGill Ferrer. That's his name. McGill. For Ferrar. Ferrar. That sounds good. But yeah, they I think they had some archive footage of him maybe, but Okay. But they have Ronnie Cox is in it. I mean I'm not no. trying to spoil anything, but it, they have everybody. And I guess Peter Weller hasn't really agreed to do any doc on Robocop until this one, supposedly. Um this movie, I, I, as you watch it, you just realize more and more it was lightning in a bottle. And like, it's called Cop Doc? Uh, Robodoc. Robo the creation of Robocop. All right, so I'll have, to, I'll have to watch that. I think it's from 2023, but okay. I would buy this thing. It, I love a good documentary, really good. especially about stuff like that. Yeah, it was super interesting. Um, yeah, I, I mean, if you love like behind the scenes shit, and I it just, I did love this the, movie. Did you ever see the um, the Superman documentary? Yes, what what happened? Just kind of about like the the Nicolas Cage. The what if? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, uh I love that one too. Yep. That's a good one. Uh John Schnepp made that movie mm-hmm. and I actually bought the the tiered version on his site. That's the only way you could buy it at the time. He actually signed a card, uh Superman card. So oh, I have that cool. and he's no longer with us. So yeah, yeah. um yeah, it's it, yeah, that's a great doc. Um and what sucks is he was going to go on and do more things like that. Mm-hmm. more things we you know hadn't seen and they you know brought yeah. him into the forefront I, I love the idea of and the, and the reason this is like top of mind the is, what if or... is because there's this you know i'm a big gi joe guy and there's this series of books called creating gi joe by uh this gentleman dan Kling and smith jr and it's like my favorite series of books of all time yeah because what it is is it's like it's the old concept artwork. It's the old dossiers. It's uh, alternate names for plant figures. It's, it's cool. color study. Yeah. And a lot of it is um, unused concepts. Cool. And cool. I love this I idea like of seeing what could have been. Yeah. And so it's just fascinating to me. And it's kind of the same with the movies is, is seeing the idea of what could have been and some things that we were very, very close to. Some things we've even got, like, was it Batgirl? Yeah. Um, as an example that was made i mean that movie is somewhere yeah like you will never see it but there's gonna be some you know i hope so i hope someone finds it yeah i still want to we need to make a movie like fanboys where we break into uh (laughs) warner brothers to like steal a copy of it (laughs) oh yeah 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 Uh, like that movie yeah Um, i hear you but yeah and even then it's probably not a good movie yeah but the idea the fact that it exists is is fascinating. It's to promising. Me. Yeah. I, I love that it exists that we, but it, we'll never see it. So I don't know. Yeah. No, I, it's like that. You know, I always want what I can't have or yeah. what I, I know I want something because I don't have it yeah. know, along those lines. So well, I was reflecting lately about solo and I really want to see that alternate version that the directors did that the yeah. ones they got fired. Cause I'm like, the the lord and um yeah because they did the lego movie and supposedly it was like really bonkers what they were doing i, I don't know i mean it could have been exaggerated shit that's been shot and yeah i would yeah i would love to see that kind of stuff for sure but yeah this it, it's so cool because yeah they uh marvel comics was an inspiration for robocop and so was blade runner and it, they wanted they wanted it to look like Blade Runner, but the studio only gave them enough money to either make that look happen or hey, you have a suit. Yep. So they obviously had to do so the suit. So they're like, all right, it's being filmed in Detroit. Yeah. I don't know if it was filmed in Detroit, but that's where it took place. But the, the suit itself, um, how that came to be, like, it's amazing. Like, it, yeah. the first original suit they made looked so much like Judge Dredd, and they had to, like, they had to like stop. Like we can't do that. It looks too well, much it was like, like <laughs> it was kind of like the original Predator suit. Yeah, which was goofy as With, hell, right? John Claude Van Damme. Yeah, would have had on. Yeah, like. And yeah. I think I think it was thanks to Arnold's wedding because they had to, they had to like stop production. 
they were able to like because I guess it was a it was just a shit show before that, yeah. and they had that break and they were able to like redesign the Predator, which made it iconic. And yep. yeah, we what we got now. Well, but, it was one of the greatest designs of all time. Oh, it is still for sure, and it hasn't really changed much. I mean, there have been alterations, but they still go back to that mm -hmm. original design. But uh, yeah, Peter Weller, he did the movements for the suit. He he had to like learn like he pre he prepared his movements before he even got in the suit and then the suit restricted him so much like he he was about ready to quit yeah it's like everything i prepared for i can't do but it's just it's a great ride uh through the whole making process and yeah um i kind of want to see docs on the uh, second and third robocop but this Ooh. one to me is i know and the, uh, the third one would probably be the most interesting. Yeah. What a shit show. Oh, what dude. What a terrible movie that was. Yeah. That was, so. that sucked. And that was written by Frank Miller. Yeah. And he did two as well. Yeah. So the original team wasn't on two or three. Yeah. Which shows because this, yeah, this was just, it just really spotlights how amazing this movie was. Um, I remember almost throwing up at the end of it <laughs> when, uh, oddly enough, it wasn't when uh, Alex Murphy was killed, but. Um, it was, I think, when Clarence got it in the neck, <laughs> he started gagging. I think my uh, dad like turned it off. It wasn't even when the dude was like melting in the acid. I, I guess it's just the neck, man. That's right. my sensitive uh, area. <laughs> but yeah, great doc. It won't, it won't be a waste of your time.